Hey! You there? Wait a minute now, aren't you... Uh, you are. You're that scientist chap, a freedman, fishman, am I right? I'll take you to where they made their base. Just unlock this gate for you. Got the key right right here. There we go. Get along now, laddie. Destroy that gun and no dawdling. Get going! The area you're currently entering is called the Cliffside Arena. We were particularly happy with the vertical cliffside in Half-Life 1 and regretted that we didn't iterate further on that concept in Half-Life 2. Vertical space allows us to force the player to deal with threats from above and below. 
We find that players focus their view on the direction they're travelling, so by using a cliffside and having the player ascend it, we ensure that the player will look up and be prepared for enemies. If the player's path was to move past the bottom of the cliffside, it would be unlikely he would notice soldiers repelling down from above, and dying from unknown threats never feels fair and certainly isn't fun. One of the features of our HDR solution is dynamic tone mapping. The easiest way to think about dynamic tone mapping is that it's a method of simulating the way the human eye reacts to light. In the real world, you've probably walked into a dark room and noticed your eye adjusting to the darkness, letting you see better after some time. Or you've walked out into a bright day and been blinded by the sun, only to have your eye adjust and allow you to see normally. Your iris is adjusting itself in response to the amount of light hitting your eye. Dynamic tone mapping simulates this by automatically adjusting the exposure of the scene to mimic the behavior of your iris. You can see this as the view moves from the dark tunnel to the bright sun and back again. Here you can see the way we calculate the amount of light hitting the player's eyes. We take a snapshot of the scene, measure the brightness levels, and then use that to adjust exposure. We consider light at the center of the screen more important than at the edges to better simulate the geometry of the eye. The courtyard in front of you is a space we call an arena. Arenas are built to hold the player for a period of time and usually contain combat or some other challenge. They often have multiple entry points for enemies, along with a gate of some kind to prevent the player moving on until the challenge has been completed. In this case, the arena is free of enemies until the player solves a puzzle and triggers an alarm. This is a method that allows the player to explore the arena and get a sense of its space before being forced to fight in it. It adds a sense of uneasiness to the player who's expecting to be attacked now that they've reached the goal set for them at the start of the map. The break in the action here is also a crucial part of the level's pacing. It allows the player to recover and explore the world a little after being attacked on the way up the cliffside. Our games are filled with things we call gates, which are essentially just challenges that the player must overcome to drive the experience forward. We used a puzzle here since the player has been through combat and exploration recently. When we design challenges, we try to ensure that the player's goal and the action required by the player are both fun. 
It's not hard to create interesting goals for the player, like stopping this machine from shelling the nearby village, but the action required by the player to solve the challenge needs to be fun as well. So instead of something menial, such as hitting an off switch, the player gets to use physics to jam the gun's mechanism and cause it to break. This marks the end of the Lost Coast tour. This has been an experiment on our part to see if our community would find it interesting to learn more about our development process. As always, we're interested in your feedback. I can be reached at gaben, G-A-B-E-N, at valvesoftware.com. If people like this, we'll keep producing this kind of content for all of our games going forward. Thanks for listening. Medical engaged. <laughs>